Good morning. It's uh, Monday, the 27th of February, 2023. I'm here with the Potato Tower and it's Potato Harvest Day. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is just, I'll, I'll put this Potato Tower in uh, with Dutch cream potatoes. And um, you may not know, but the Holy Grail of potato growing is to grow potatoes in a container and then at the end of the season you empty the container and it's just full of new potatoes you know hundreds of new potatoes and you show a video of it i don't know what's in here um, I'm, I'm expecting a great disappointment most of the videos you see uh, i'm very disappointed with the result so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dismantle this tower and take out and see how many potatoes have, have grown it's now grown right through, um, well, it's supposed to empty out in spring. It's supposed to be, uh, um, we leave the potatoes to thrive, but you can see they're still growing. Some of them are still growing, uh, and they haven't, many of them haven't flowered. But it's time, you know, either they, either they come out now and disappoint me, or uh, I leave them forever and they just rot in the ground. So, Dutch cream potatoes, uh, thanks to my friends that gave me the seed potatoes. Um, today's potato day and I'll show you how as we progress. So here's the potato tower made out of mesh with a whole lot of sticks and things holding it up and I've just cleared away all the little pot plants and things that I had around the side. You can still see some as I said the potatoes are still growing uh, some of them are still growing I don't know what that's about but uh, it's their time has come so I'm about to start undoing all of the bits of wire and things that are holding it together and then I've got a bin that I'm going to put the potatoes in that I can dig out so let's see what happens it's taken me a while to I've had these small bamboo stakes and then I've got the larger ones the perma the hardwood ones around and I've actually woven some thin wire in around to keep the mesh up so I've just pulled all of those stakes out uh, and you know I don't want to keep the wire, but I, I sort of regretted being so thorough when I tied it all together. But uh, the next step now is to take out this, the bigger stakes, and then pre presumably the, the tower will fall. But let's see. Well, there all the wire mesh is off the tower. Um, there's the mesh over there. And all the stakes that were holding it together over there. Lots of wire. Um, I regret being so very thorough, but anyway. Um, it's certainly lasted the distance and here's the tower and I can actually see a little potato a miniature potato peeping out there and there's one peeping out here right here so there are some potatoes in I just oh, there's a bigger one so what what comes now is I'm gonna you see they were still growing potatoes are still growing so now I'm going to trim off all those live potatoes and then start taking it apart from the top and I'm going to collect the potatoes and put them into that bin over there so uh, next stage, grappling for potatoes. Okay, here we go. Now I've got my bin over here in front of me. And let's see what we've got here. So these are the currently growing potatoes. Take them off. And up here. Up here. So here is a miniature potato, number one, a tiny little potato. Hello, well, that's better. That's a nice, that's a biggish potato, number two. There's another one, oh, that's a nice one as well. Well, nice, you know. <laughs> Depends on your standards. I remember the current thing is the tiny potatoes. I'm going to make a beef bourguignon and here's a good one, here's a nice one. I'm just at the very top of the pile here, scratching off. Small one again. Oops, I don't want the soil to fall on the path, so I'm scratching it in that direction. There we go. That's a goodie. Quite reasonable. These are, these are shooting on them. Oh, Small ones. Right 
squad. Shoot someone. Small one. Small one. Oh, nice size. Oh. A miniature tiny tiny one. <laughs> small one. I'll keep all the small ones, why not? Baby potato. A bad one. I mean, I think I started with 20 seed potatoes, so it's very disappointing if I get fewer than 20. <laughs> It'll probably mean that I might as well just have eaten the seed potatoes and not worried to plant them. Is it? No. Anybody here? No. There's one. There's a decent one. Some nice ones. Bad. Ooh, must be gone. Shooting again already. This one is well. I reckon probably got more than 20 now, so I've increased my yield from the from 20 upwards. Give me to go. That's the nice ones. The nice ones. Oh, heaps down here. Nice, nice big ones. Any more? If anything, uh, my impression is... And there we are, and that's what's left of the soil and leaves and things that are in the potatoes. That'll go well in that garden bed over there. And uh, I'm not going to go into the whole thing of counting the potatoes, but it gives you a fair idea of what I got out of it and as, as I said I started with 20 smallish potatoes and I probably got about 50 there and some of them are quite edible some are tiny little peas but uh, nice exercise um, time to move on eat potatoes and uh, plant something else over here because the old tower was obscuring the, obscuring the view of the flowers in the background there you see the tower I've taken it down now we can see flowers from our window again See you later. Bye. Okay, I said I wasn't going to uh, count and weigh the potatoes, but I have to decide which ones to keep and which ones are edible. So remember there were 20 seed potatoes to start with, and we prob probably got about 20 ones big enough to replace them with. And we've got about 20 odd medium sized potatoes, 20 baby potatoes, and these are throwaways, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the commercial farmers do with these pea-sized potatoes, but they, and they certainly, I don't know what to do with them. The other thing is, um, quite a few of the potatoes have got this brown, these brown marks on them, I don't know what they are. Uh, I suppose I should peel one to show you, but um, I presume we can peel all of this off and this won't be a problem. So, um, would I do it again? Probably not. Um, it was a good experience. Are you always dream about the potato bonanza, you know, you just have a bucket and you put a few seed potatoes in it and at the end of the season um, empty it out and you've got potatoes for all over. Um, these are Dutch creams, so I don't know how productive they are, but I look forward to tasting them and seeing if they're good. Um, as I said, I probably wouldn't do it again, but um, I think I can say it's not too terribly successful, but quite successful and I definitely would take them out a bit earlier because some of them are a little bit soft and some of them have started shooting. So, bye for now.